Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet in the last episode. Well, the gym lead, the second gym leader, will have to wait. We got a base to storm. So we have a team star base here. We're just running up here. How about this then? Oh, cutscene. I want them to show off my power with Koraiden and just ram right, right through. Just jump over the wall, Koraiden. You can do that. Could have avoided this entire mess. You look stupid. You both look stupid with those glasses on. You think you are, Elton John? See, he could pull it off. You two can't. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Siegen Squad. Well, let the Siegen Squad when I'm done with you. Yep, yeah, but we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Aren't you literally students? Ugh, complex immediately, alright. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that mass draft kid? You know that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Sods. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, he's not always the best policy, you know. You know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzzoff will get thrashed by me in, a, in battle, kid. What will it be? I'll take you on. Sassy kids like you are the worst. You gave me an option! You gave me an option that either involved me having to do this cutscene again at some point. You know, and now you're having a literal tantrum. That's it. Better get stopped into the dirt. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Bring it on. At least your music's cool. Alright, Team Star Grunt, what do you got? You got a Murkrow. Okay. I am fine with taking on a Murkrow. Depending on level. 19. I'll take that. That's so weak. Air cutter. Oh, that sucks for you, doesn't it, Murkrow? Jojo wins. Jojo kicks ass. Level up, and Eureka learning a new move again. Ah, it's, it's only Flail. Flail's alright. It is okay. But you sort of need to combine it with other stuff. I don't want Flail. Good move though. Low health, it does like 200. It, do, it does like 200 base damage. It's bloody awesome, but. Ugh, it's a lot of setup to use Flail. Why did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? You literally have only one Pokemon. How about having more Pokemon on your team? Surely that would have helped. And now you're back into a tantrum again. How the heck did I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista. That's a terrible pun. That's a terrible pun. You should feel bad for it. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to... Might have to have a little chat with with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you with full force if you set foot inside. You don't want to consider turning tail. Either way, best luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista. That's still bad. You also leave. You could just keep it closed or something. That'd be nice. He made the right choice, though, to be fair. Warn them first, and then come and fight me. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Sieging Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have him ruffled in the slightest. His plan is probably to weigh you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategy types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defending as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the sieging squad off the map. Well, if that one grunt had a level 19 Murkrow, I might be in a good position here, actually. I like to... Oh, with, oh, with the first three in my party. Okay, I wasn't thinking that. All right. 
Dark types. Who do I want in the... Well, definitely not faux -febbed. I do not want faux -febbed in this. Um, rock salt's probably all right here because of infestation. So you might work. Don't, don't want faux -febbed in this. Okay. And my last member... Hmm. Quags? Let's go with Quags. We will have Jojo up front. I am going to do heal up Jojo first, though. I have an abundance of potions. So we are fine. All right, now we'll go in. I didn't think it was only first three Pokemon in my party. All right, then. It's just going to be wave upon wave, this, isn't it? Oh, definitely not the directors here. Careful now, Mastra. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon are on low health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The Grunts you'll be facing uh, will heal up their Pokemon too. Stay sharp out there. Huh. Beep. Okay, I sort of don't understand, but I'm sure I will want to get in there. Probably auto battler, wouldn't it? I guess. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Glee doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a, f a lesson he won't forget. To our one wanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. All right, then. Star Barrage. Send your Pokemon out with the R button to try and defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before the time runs out. When you're taking on a challenge of a Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon are too worn out to battle all the time runs out. Uh, if one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can recover it uh, HP by using the vending machine. If you decide you want to give up before the time runs out, press the Y button. Okay. Oh god, that's a bunch of stuff. Alright. Bring it on! Send out the team! S send! There you go, everyone's out! Attack everyone! Go! Come on! We just gotta run and just try and find the new the, the Pokemon. I think we do. Aha! There's some Sableyes. Oh, and there's some Zoroas as well. Where are my other two gone? Okay. Rock Salt, we defeat Zorua. Take that, you sods. Some more over here. Hello, Sable Eyes. Meet the wrath of my team. Yes. Okay, what else have you got? Aha! More of you, eh? More sandals. Alright then. Oh, Rock Salt's taking a bit of damage. Come on, Rock Salt! You've got this! Yeah! Need to heal, though. Before I take on those Stunkies, because Rock Salt's in a... Actually, no. No, sod it. I don't need Rock Salt to beat the Stunkies. Quags can beat the Stunkies. Go, Quags! You slow ass! Yeah, you get in there as well. Nice work. Alright, let's go and heal. Can I use Kariden here? I can't. Okay. That is fuck. Some forth more stuff. A bit half the This music is awesome! Yes, please! I'd like Rock Salt to be healed. Not very much. Right. Half them down. We've got loads of time left. We've got a bunch of you. Oh, you guys are dying quite quickly to my team. Go Rock Salt. Go Quags. Yes. We beat a bunch of Nimbles. All right, 11 to go. Oh, is that, uh, that, well, yes, it was. It was more Sableyes. Come on, Jojo. You've got this in the bag, Jojo! 
Yeah! Alright, nine to go. Nine to go, we have loads of time left. More stunkies. I mean, yeah, it's rock salt. Oh, quags. Come on, Quags. Get in there with your mud power. Yes. Zoro was now. All right. There's lots of Zoro was over there. Let's take them out in one little group. Quags takes you out. All right. Two more. We've just got this in the bag, haven't we, really? Did you st <laughs> Jojo just hit one of their members! Ha! <laughs> Love that. 31 out of 30. Go sod yourself. He's way above our level. we got to get the boss. I wish I could have got some experience for that. It didn't seem like it did. Okay. Alright, then. Are you playing Crash Team Racing or something? Seems like it. The boss of the Team Stars Dark Crew, Giacomo. Alright. Dark type person. Okay then. Hello. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Mastrath, was it? I'm Giacomo of the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Okay. Music guy. Fair enough. Hitting those sick guitar riffs, though. Alright, let's see how good you are at Pokemon battles instead of how good you are at Cubase, shall we? Pornyard. That's a bad idea for you. That's a really bad start for you. You don't even really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. I disagree. Bringing out a Pornyard against me is a bad move. Watch and learn. Don't bring your Steel Dark type out against something that has a fighting move. Revavaroom. It's on other tempo. This show ain't over yet. Uh, what? I'm against that. Th I'm against the Starmobile itself. All right. What? Th this can't be a Pokemon, surely? Is it really? <laughs> How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you a good party crasher. Your thing's level twenty. Your thing's level twenty. You've also lost some speed as well, which is going to help me out in the long run. Keep it up, Jojo. Wicked Tor. All right. Jojo is probably going to die, but that's fine. If I can just lower your speed enough, then maybe try and hit an Aqua Cutter. Metal sounds now. That lowers special attack, right? Special defense. Ah. That could be a problem if that move is a... Um, Oh, that could be a problem if that moves a uh, if that moves a special attack. That could be a big problem. Snarl. Okay. I think it's my special. That's fine. I don't really mind about my special attack. Just how fast is this thing? I've lowered its speed down like four stages. It's still faster than me. The hell? Four stages. I've lowered it. All right, then. I mean... Yeah, sod you, buddy. I'm bringing Quags in. All right, Quags. Got this in the bag, my friend. You honestly do. Can I put it to sleep? That'd be interesting. Let's see if I can poison the bastard, shall we? Metal sound. That's going to be annoying. That's going to be annoying. But I might be able to get a poison off. Who knows? Poison tail. Take damage. All right, have you got anything else? We got a snarl. All right, Quags can live that. Special attack, that's not great. Poison tail, though, is physical, you sod. Still not that yet. Let's a snarl. Ow. Yeah, my special attack is just getting absolutely destroyed in this. However, 
We are getting closer to finishing him off. Two more hits should do it. Another snarl. Yeah, I mean, unless you get a crit, that is. Quag should be able to beat you. Another poison tail. Yep, one more hit, and that's it for you. And your Starmobile. Snarl. Nice job, Quags. Nice job, Quags. One more poison tail. And there goes your Starmobile. See ya. See ya, Rever Rev 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 Room. Take that. Yeah, you take out, you try and beat Claude Zyre. It's not working, mate. Guess that's that. Yes, we have beaten your random machine about a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted to take me, take on take my take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like, for what? Operation Star, first of all. And also, a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have, enjo have, in have joined up recently? Well, we figure we've got to make some team rules, like a code, so we're all on the same page. Nice. You'll come with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of student council, but, you know, everyone ha ended up hating me after that, right? Of course you know, you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. Like we got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. Can't help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over without you. Team Star just wouldn't work. That suck up, stuck up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at right now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write the darn code. So it was his idea for the code after all. I did as best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So, here, take my star badge, would you? I certainly will do! Team Star's Dark Crew defeated! Yeah! I'll give you this choice TM too. You've earned it fair and square. Ooh, foul play! Alright. The user targets the, uh, no, no, turns the target strength against it. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this move inflicts. Dark move! Alright. <laughs> so this is how the party ends. Let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves you, sh you should use and stuff? No, I learnt them from previous Pokemon games. Huh? Okay, you like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, that's right. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to type to start that up for you? Just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, um, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm nearly freed up, t uh, freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we don't know when they'll be coming back. A pal? Are close friends of yours, are they? They're the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? 
They're the one who invited us, other bosses, to form the team. We call them the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. So it's probably one of those four that we saw in the flashback. I'm, I'm guessing, guesswork on this, but I'm guessing it's that. It's one of those four. We thought if we had kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers are pressing us to call it quits. And then we get party crashes like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours. They're really that important to you? <laughs> Is the sky blue? They put into words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Cool. Thanks for the foul play, TM, I guess. Bummed out I didn't get any bloody experience from that. Come on, game. You don't get any experience for beating up a giant metal machine thing. Really? Ah, Roto Toto Toe. -to. Should be, uh, Cass uh, you should be Cassiopeia. Mastrath, it's me. Seems Giacomo no longer carries his star badge, the symbol of his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? Yes, I am now the boss! I see. With this boss out of the picture, the Siege and Squad is pretty much done for. Oh, Giacomo. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Ooh, 5,000. Nice. Thank you, Cassiopeia. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make at TM machines. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Thanks. Oh! Hello you again! Hello. I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But I'm, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go, a bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Lots of Pokemon materials! You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you should, you'll should you get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you're pretty amazing. With the trainer strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There are four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Thank you. That AV bag still looks bad. It still looks bad. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go for a break here folks, but in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Scarlet, I guess we are moving on back through the desert to try and find the second gym leader and where he's gone to give him his wallet back. With all the money in it, unfortunately. Be nice if I could just take, just take the money out of it and utilize it and then we could just, I don't know, try and find another way to get to the second gym leader. We could be one to the third or something. I'll see you then.